What does President Biden's first time home buyers tax credit mean for you? Stay tuned and find out. There's been a lot of press recently about President Biden's first time home buyers tax credit. Did a little bit of digging and wanted to share with you some of what I found out and what it means for you. Now this is pending legislation. That means the bill has been proposed to the House of Representatives and into committee. Now, it hasn't gotten out yet, and by the time it becomes law, I'm sure it's going to change. But here's what, I, here's what I've been able to learn about it so far. First of all, it would be a $25,000 grant, not really a tax credit, but a grant that would be immediately available to first-time home buyers under certain conditions. First of all, the borrowers would have to not have owned a home within the last three years. Now, neither of the borrower's parents may have ever owned a home. Now, the, the rules don't apply if the parents lost their home to foreclosure or short sale, and it doesn't apply if the borrower has ever been in foster care. Now, the, it is means tested, which means that the borrowers can make no more than 120% of the area media in, median or average income. What does that mean for us in Lancaster County? The median income for Lancaster County was $66,056. So 120% of that is $79,267. So as long as your income is, a, let's say below 200, or is below 79,000, and you've never owned a home, or your parents have never owned a home, you should qualify. Now, let's take a look at some of the net effects. What this is going to do is make more people eligible for home ownership. It's a good thing. More renters would qualify to own a home because two of the biggest restrictions for home ownership are saving for the down payment and then also saving for the closing cost. So this grant would be a big boost to help more people qualify. But let's go one step further. What happens when you have more buyers searching for a limited supply of homes? Prices go up. The law of supply and demand doesn't change. And this bill does nothing to make more people or more houses available. The thought is, is if more people are, want houses, builders will step up production. It doesn't work like that. Stepped up production, stepped up demand is causing the prices of lumber, of labor, and general building supplies to skyrocket through the roof. So what's gonna happen is more demand, still limited supply, prices are going to go up. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that these funds are gonna be doled out to the states based on population, median area home prices, and racial disparities of home ownership rates. I don't know exactly what, how we compare to the rest of the country, but we may be having to wait a little while before these funds become available if the pending legislation becomes law as it now stands. So stay tuned. I'll be following this pretty closely. And if you have any questions, be sure to talk to your loan officer. You can call me at 717-220-4209 or check out the blog post at parealestateresources.com for more updates as they become available. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.